Imagine a traveler from another star system, moving silently through the vast emptiness between suns. We thought it was just another small, icy rock. We were wrong, the universe loves to surprise us, and this time, it's with a visitor far more significant than we ever imagined. This isn't just a small discovery, it's a fundamental shift in how we see interstellar wanderers. 3 Eye Atlas, as it's called, has been hiding its true scale from us. It journeyed for millions, maybe billions of years, from its home star, sweeping through our solar system as a temporary guest. Our early observations gave us only a faint, fuzzy picture. But sometimes, you need a more powerful eye to see the truth. Enter the James Webb Space Telescope. When 3 Eye Atlas was first detected, it was only the third interstellar object ever confirmed. We tracked its path, studied its faint glow, and built a model, based on incomplete information. Now, the fog has lifted. What Webb has shown us, is that 3 Eye Atlas is not a small iceberg. It is a mountain. Its true size dwarfs all previous estimates, challenging our models of how such objects form and travel. This finding sends ripples through astronomy and planetary science. The building blocks of other solar systems might be larger and more robust than we thought. The story of 3 Eye Atlas is no longer just about a single object. It's about the potential for giant, unseen travelers crossing the space between stars, carrying the secrets of their origin. What is 3 Eye Atlas? The name tells a story, the third interstellar object ever identified. The first was Oumuamua in 2017, a strange cigar-shaped enigma. The second, 2 Eye Borisov, looked more like a familiar comet. Then came 3 Eye Atlas, discovered by the Atlas system in Hawaii, which scans the sky every night for moving objects. Most finds are local asteroids and comets, but sometimes something special appears. 3i Atlas was special because of its hyperbolic path, proof it came from beyond our solar system. It's a visitor from another star's domain, a place we can only dream of reaching. Its journey through our system was a rare chance to study a piece of another world up close. Unlike comets from our Oort cloud or Kuiper belt, 3i Atlas came from much farther away, likely ejected from its home system by a giant planet. For eons, it drifted through the cold, dark void, arriving here by pure, cosmic chance. We're practicing a form of interstellar archaeology. What made 3 Eye Atlas intriguing was its faintness. Even near the sun, it didn't light up like a typical comet. Comets from our solar system are rich in volatile ices that create bright comas and tails when heated. 3 Eye Atlas was subdued suggesting it's made of different materials or has lost its easily vaporized substances. Its quiet passage made it difficult to study, and even more mysterious. This object challenges our expectations of what interstellar visitors should look like. It's a cosmic messenger, carrying clues from another world. Observing 3 Eye Atlas is a race against time, it's not sticking around. Every moment within reach of our telescopes is precious. Ground-based telescopes first detected and tracked it, giving us hints about its nature and rough size. But Earth's atmosphere blurs and blocks certain wavelengths, especially in the infrared. To truly understand 3 Eye Atlas, we needed a telescope in space. That's where the James Webb Space Telescope comes in. Webb is the most powerful infrared observatory ever built, able to see the faint warmth of distant, icy rocks. By looking in infrared, Webb can see what's invisible to visible light telescopes. The decision to point Webb at 3 Eye Atlas was crucial. Telescope time is precious, but the chance to study a visitor from another star was too good to pass up. The goal measure its thermal emission, the tiny amount of heat it gives off. This heat signature holds the key to its true size, a secret hidden from ground-based eyes. Webb's observations would reveal what optical telescopes could not. It was a rare opportunity to unlock the mysteries of an interstellar traveler. The data would change everything we thought we knew. Sometimes the universe's biggest secrets are hidden in the faintest glimmers of heat, and this time, we were ready to see them. The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, is an engineering marvel, orbiting the Sun 1.5 million kilometers from Earth at the L2 point. Its giant gold-plated mirror collects faint infrared light, making it perfect for hunting the warmth of distant dark objects. To observe 3 Eye Atlas, astronomers used Webb's Mid-Infrared Instrument, or MIRI, designed for the longest infrared wavelengths. The observation was carefully timed to catch the faint traveler as it sped away from the sun. MIRI doesn't just take pictures. It measures the amount of infrared light at different wavelengths, creating a spectrum. For a cold body like 3i Atlas, 
This spectrum reveals its temperature. By measuring temperature and total infrared emission, astronomers can calculate its size. A larger object emits more heat, a smaller one, less. This was a major test for Webb, designed for distant galaxies but now revealing secrets in our own solar system. The 3 i Atlas observation showed Webb's versatility. It's a tool for both cosmology and planetary science, and it just changed our understanding of interstellar visitors. How did we get the size of 3 i Atlas so wrong? Early estimates relied on optical brightness, how much sunlight it reflected, but to calculate size from reflected light, you need to know its albedo, or reflectivity. We had no idea if 3 i Atlas was bright and icy or dark and rocky, so astronomers guessed it was like our comets, that guess led to a small size estimate, just a few kilometers wide, but Webb's method bypasses this problem. By measuring the heat it emits, albedo becomes less important. Thermal emission depends on temperature and surface area, directly related to size. It's like seeing someone's heat signature in the dark, instead of guessing from a faint reflection. Multi-wavelength astronomy gives us a fuller picture. Visible light told us, 3i Atlas was faint, infrared told us why. It wasn't small, it was incredibly dark. Its surface absorbs almost all sunlight, reflecting very little. 3i Atlas is one of the darkest objects ever seen in our solar system. The web data was stunning. The thermal signature showed 3i Atlas was far warmer than a small object should be. The only explanation, it's much larger. New calculations put its diameter at about 38 kilometers, nearly 10 times bigger than first thought. That's the size of a large city. The volume is a thousand times greater than we imagined. Knowing its true size, we could recalculate its albedo, less than 4%, darker than coal. That's why it looked so faint, not small, but a giant, cloaked in darkness. This darkness may be from its long journey through interstellar space, its surface processed by cosmic rays. The implications are enormous. If interstellar objects can be this large and dark, there could be many more passing through our solar system undetected. Our surveys are biased towards smaller, brighter objects. 3i Atlas might be the first of a new class of massive interstellar objects. We just needed the right eyes to see them. The universe may be full of hidden giants. This discovery was a team effort, built on a chain of technologies and collaborations. It started with the Atlas Survey Telescopes in Hawaii, scanning the sky for moving objects. Once Atlas flagged 3i Atlas, observatories worldwide joined in, tracking its brightness color and path. This global network built the initial, if flawed, model. Then came the Game Changer, the James Webb Space Telescope and its MIRI instrument. MIRI operates at just 7 kelvins, colder than Pluto, to detect faint infrared signals. Achieving this in space is an engineering triumph. Webb's raw data is processed by teams on Earth, turning streams of ones and zeros into physical measurements. It's the combination of hardware and space and brilliant minds on Earth that makes discoveries like this possible. Together, we turn faint flickers of light into profound cosmic insights. The confirmation of 3i Atlas's massive size changes everything. Before we had only two examples, small, odd Oumuamua and comet-like Borisov, our models predicted most interstellar objects would be small debris. 3i Atlas shatters that idea. A 38-kilometer object suggests Plantsimals, or even small planets, can be ejected into interstellar space. The galaxy's chemical inventory may be richer than we thought, with these giants transporting water, carbon and organics between stars. If massive objects like 3i Atlas are common, the amount of material exchanged between star systems is far greater than we imagined. This discovery forces us to rethink our search strategies. We need to look for the shadows of large, dark giants not just the glint of small comets. Upcoming surveys like the Vera C. Rubin Observatory will help us find more. Webb's data will guide future searches for these hidden travelers. We may be on the verge of discovering a whole new class of cosmic objects. We've gone from a faint point of light to the revelation of a dark colossus. The story of 3i Atlas reminds us, the more we learn, the more we realize how much we don't know. Pointing Webb at this mysterious visitor revealed a giant, rewriting our models. This is not the end but the start of a new chapter. 3i Atlas shows the space between stars may be filled with massive, city-sized bodies. Every new interstellar object could be another giant in disguise. For millennia, we've wondered what lies among the stars. Now, we know. Giant dark objects from alien systems are passing through our cosmic home. 
3i Atlas was the first we measured, but it won't be the last. As we scan the heavens, we must ask, what other titans are drifting through the darkness waiting to be discovered?